Hi guys, that's Przemek here, and welcome to the next episode of Sneak Peek into MetaGrid version 2. Uh, last time we talked about flexible grid, and today we're going to talk about editing grids, I mean the content of the grids. Um, so we have analyzed uh, all the weak points that um, are present in MetaGrid version 1, and we have came up with solutions that will dramatically speed up uh, object editing and grid ed editing. So uh, let's start. I'm going to show you some cool functionalities that I'm going to use daily while using MetaGrid. Let's go. So I've got my MetaGrid version 2 in front of me on one of the iPads. Uh, and uh, I've got the three buttons already pre-configured. So let's go into the edit mode. And uh, when I touch an object, uh, in that case a button, uh, you can see a nice editing pane coming from uh, the right. This um, will enable us to do several things. So first of all, you'll see the grid in uh, your object in context. Uh, so you, you can pan left and right to see the context and to go to the upper obje object. So when I touch an object, the editing uh, panel changes, uh, reflects the uh, parameters set for the given object, right? Um, as you know, uh, in MetaGrid version two, we have implemented uh, several button types. Uh, the uh, latching switches and uh, the momentary switches. So uh, when I tap a, a latching switch, you can see you've got the latch on and latch off state. So when I press latch on, all the latching switches uh, will change uh, their state to on on the grid and uh, all the objects which are not latching will be dimmed. Uh, that way you will be able to see them in context and uh, to edit uh, the latch on uh, state. It's very helpful. Um, what else? Um, apart from all the parameters that we are going to edit for, uh, for the buttons and other objects that will come in the future, uh, we have finally implemented the multi-selection. Uh, it's going to be a great help for us, so let's see how it works. When I press the multi button over here, now I can select multiple buttons like that, right? So uh, let's say I want to copy the three buttons here, over here, so I press copy, and then I select uh, by panning right uh, three other buttons on the grid, and I press paste. Here we go. Uh, that's very fast and uh, personally I love it. Uh, I can do it also uh, between the grids. So I go to the, uh, the other scene, I select uh, the, the uh, target buttons and I press uh, paste. That's it. So that's going to be a great help for us to, to populate our grids. And apart from that, we've got the style functionality. Um, so when I press the style, uh, you can see the uh, button um, parameters in, in, in some groups. So when I um, enable uh, this functionality, now I'm um, specifying the uh, parameters that I want to copy. So let's say I want to just copy the background color, all right? So I press background color and I copy uh, this button. And uh, I multi-select uh, five other buttons and I press paste and voila, uh, the background parameter, the background color parameter has been pasted into the selected five buttons. So that were the new functionalities for editing grids in the MetaGrid version 2. I hope you liked it. I personally love them. Uh, it will make editing my grids and, uh, easier, uh, more intuitive, basically more streamlined. Um, so keep your fingers crossed for us. We are doing our best. We are working extremely hard to deliver this product. Um, we'll meet next time. And um, next time I'm going to talk about the styling options in MetaGrid version 2, which are quite, quite nice. And, I, and again, I love them. So I can't wait to share them with you. So stay in tuned, keep safe, and see you next time. Bye.